Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense. And uh, I have been listening to this podcast recently um, called Philosophize This by Mr. Stephen West. Uh, started back in 2013, so it's 2019 right now, so I'm about six years behind the ball. But uh, I've been listening through it, and he goes through kind of historical philosophers and, and goes from kind of the beginning of philosophy to till present, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm not there. I'm still in the beginning parts. But I was working through that series, and uh, he made an interesting point that I thought was uh, pretty pretty valid for the current political situation. Uh, and basically, uh, the point he made was this. At any given, at, at, at certain crisis moments in certain societies, right, when a society thinks, hey, we got a big problem here, something's wrong, there are typically, and we're painting with a broad brush here, two reactions. On one hand, you have the conservative reaction. And the conservative reaction says something like this, look, we, as a society, as a country, as a nation, whatever, have lost our way. We need to go back to the things that made this country great, right? What, what we are, the reason we have problems now, the reason we're at where we're at now is because we have strayed from those original principles or values or ideals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? We abandon our core principles, and because of that, that's why we have problems, that's where we're here now. Okay. Obviously, that's kind of the side that I'm on in general. And the other side of the coin, or the other, the other side of the aisle, says something like, those are the conservatives, right? The, the people that say we need to go back. That's the, I want to call that conservatives for the sake of this video. I realize there are a lot of conservatives that don't believe that, and that's a problem. But that, that's just for the sake of this video, I'm going to call that conservatism. Conservatism, okay? Uh, the other side is the progressives, right? Progressives would say something like, look, the reason we have problems in society is because of those core principles. That's why we're here now. That obviously isn't working. We tried that. It didn't work. Look at all the problems we have. What we need are new ideas, new laws, new legislation, new direction. That's what we need. That's what we need to fix this, this culture and this society. So you can obviously see that at play right, uh, in, in, in America, particularly from the, the rabid progressive side, right? Well, we need a Green New Deal, and we need Medicare for All, and we need free college, we need to get rid of the Second Amendment, we need to stop the First Amendment because we can't have things like hate speech going on, uh, we need to have five-year-olds be totally cool with transgenderism and homosexuality and pansexuality and genderqueer, blah, 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 right? So the, the story just goes on and on and on. So that's obviously that's that agenda side, right? Uh, this country is founded on white supremacy. That's a thing I've heard recently, which I'm just like, read one history book, just, just one. Uh, so that's obviously uh, that side. And then the other side, which unfortunately I think is a quieter voice than it should be, says something like, look, what we need to do is enforce the Constitution. Uh, we need to uh, enforce the Second Amendment, all gun laws. Yeah, you can get rid of those. NFA, ATF, we can all repeal all of that stuff. Uh, we need to go back to the core principles. We need to cherish freedom of speech. We need to cherish the, the protection against uh, warrantless searches and seizures. We, we need to cherish these rights and go back to them. And if we do that, then we can turn this, this society around. That's, that's the divide. So I think at the end of the day, when it, it puts it in those two camps to me, like the, the, what those people think is that we need to go in new directions, right? That's, that's the progressive side. Or we need to go back. That, that's clarifying to me. That's like, okay, that kind of puts us in two different camps uh, in general. Again, broad brush here, okay? The problem with our current situation uh, compared to other possible historical examples are, the, in this case, the new direction that, that the progressives want to go isn't just like, hey, conservatives are saying we should go straight and uh, progressives are saying we should just take a right-hand turn. We just need to go right. It, they're directly contradictory, right? They're, 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 it's a direct assault. So it's, well, uh, shall not be infringed. We, we should be able to own whatever guns we want. Mm, uh, how about we take away all your guns, right? That, that's, that's directly contradictory. Hey, look, uh, I don't think the government should be able to warrantlessly uh, enter my home and take my guns or my property or look through my bag when I go to the airport, right? I don't, I just don't think it should be allowed to happen. Mm, well, how about they can go through your bags at the airport and uh, they can just enter your home if someone reports you because they think you're a danger, right? So th there's some directly contradictory agendas here and I don't think there's a reconcilable solution.
right? There's no compromise in the middle between I would like to own an AR-15 and I can't own an AR-15. There's no compromise there. It's one or the other. I can own it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I have to change it in, and every Sunday we toss a coin to see if I can have it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's no compromise there. And on a variety of these issues, not just guns, I, I pick guns because it's the clearest example, and, and because this is a gun channel, and I teach people how to shoot guns. Uh, but on all of these examples, there's direct contradiction. And so there's no compromise. It's either the the left progressive left wins and gets their way and everybody on the right just folds over uh the progressive left collapses under its own weight of co self-contradiction uh or there's blood in the streets and we go to war i mean i i, I don't know what, what the other options are i i, I can't uh envision the other options because the conservative side in this case says look we want to go back to the principles, just leave us alone. Just leave us alone, we just want to do our thing. And the progressive side just says, we need to control every aspect of your life and we're going to keep coming until we have all of it. Uh, and the scary part to me as I was thinking about it, it, it's not necessarily that there are people out there that believe in those things, like gun confiscation and lack of due process and lack of freedom of speech and et cetera, et cetera. It, it, it's not that there are people out there, because of course there's always going to be some crazy people out there who believe in that. The scary part to me is that Americans, by the millions, are voting for those people. Uh, that's the part that's truly scary to me. That there are millions of, of my fellow Americans in this country who would vote to restrict my rights and their own rights. Uh, and in an era when everybody hates Trump, I find it deeply ironic that those same people would say only Trump should have all the guns. Uh, that only Trump should be able to decide what what is is and is not allowed speech, right? Like that's a really weird, contradictory thing. But when you view the state as an apparatus of power, of course you want to give all of the uh, power to it, so that then you can wield the state in order to affect who you want to affect and do what you want to do. So again, directly contradictory visions for the future of America, and I don't. I don't necessarily know where this is going to go or how this is going to go, but I don't think there's a reconciliation or a compromise down the middle. I think one side will win or one side will lose, or it's going to get a lot worse than that. Uh, again, if, if you see a different solution to that, I would, I would, I would love to hear it. Uh, in the meantime, I would tell you to vote. Uh, I had an argument with a bunch of my good friends a couple weekends ago, and they told me they're done voting, and I flipped out on them. Uh, and, and I just don't understand that, right? Voting works. That's why the progressives are winning in certain places, because they're voting in their crazy agendas, right? So we want to vote. Uh, I want to be politically active, because if we can solve something at the ballot box, that's much better than going to the cartridge box, right? Uh, that, that's what makes America so fantastic and so great, is that we've been able to vote for hundreds of years. And because we've been able to vote, we have avoided voting with our firearms. Right? And that's what's prevented this country from falling into a lot of conflicts, where otherwise other countries very well may have. Uh, if you read a history book, it, it is a story of the rise and fall of kingdoms and rebellions here and rebellions there and states being very unstable throughout history, very unstable throughout history. Uh, and you could say, oh, well, that was then, this is now, you know, we've advanced, we've... Uh. No, you haven't. It's, it, it's not. Uh, people are people. Human nature has never changed throughout history. That's what makes it human nature. Uh, and of course, things could always be more tumultuous than they are. They're not right now, and I think that's great. I, I like living in a semi-stable society. Um, but we are never immune to the rise and fall of kingdoms. That's, that's the story of human history. So vote. Let's vote. Let's be politically active. Uh, let's, let's say we believe. Let's, let's put our money where our mouth is and believe in these things and be politically active so we don't have to get to that third horrible option. Uh, again, if you see a different way out of this, I would love to hear it. That's why I think America is so divided at the core, is because you have people who think we need a new direction and people who think we need to go back to the core principles. If you have a different solution to that, I'd love to hear it, honestly, because I think about this just about every day and uh, I'm, I'm always looking for a deeper understanding of where we're at as a society and what that means for where we're going. Do brave deeds and endure.